hello everybody uh, today i'm going to show you about unreal engine inter interface uh, we need to understand unreal engine inter interface i will show you uh, what i use most so this is the toolbar this is the place actor option this is the content browser we can see here level this is the outliner we can see whatever in the level in outliner this is detail it is empty if you select any object it will show we can change our location rotation scale material static mesh and other options here i change the material here is a world setting we can change the mode from here and other option also like z kill uh, we see the file new level option we can open uh, open world or basic level here uh, we can open level we can open a selected level in here we can see only level showing here no other option show here so after that uh, there is a favorite level if we have any favorite level uh, open asset we can open asset we can see our recent levels here we can open it from here we can save any current level here we can save as uh, we can give a name uh, we can select a file to save we can import any fbh or obj file we can export our level we can create a new project gm uh, flame architecture or we can open any project we can zip any project zip our project for example you can exit the project and now we go to the edit there is few option is off if we select any object then we can see there is option we can copy and we can paste ctrl c ctrl v that's the keyboard shortcut we can cut it ctrl h we can paste it ctrl v we can duplicate it otherwise we can use uh, ctrl d we can delete it press in delete button in keyboard there is editor preference mainly we can change our editor view in this uh, option we can change the color we can change the keyboard shortcut we can change uh, audio settings there is many color like viewport selection color and other stuff there is a keyboard shortcut we can change the keyboard shortcut or we can use the default we can change the loading and saving with the i personally of turn off the auto save now there is project settings we can change our project settings here the particular project settings we can add description company name company distribution name uh, home page uh, uh, support content and many other we can use the template ad, maps and mode we can change the package settings like development or for shipping for the project we can go input and change the input like uh, we are jumping from spacebar we can change it for like change the key and we can add main input here we can add touch input here and there is android tab we can change the android setting here we can change the logo we can add uh, global service uh, same thing we can do with the uh, windows option we can change the logo icon now there is uh, other option here also like the windows option uh, here is the cinematic function we, we can use cinematic function here is content browser uh, we can uh, add content browser here or in here or in here whoever use uh, seven monitor it's uh, uh, good for them uh, 
uh, there is outliner we can delete it there is a wall setting and if we go to windows and click outliner it will be here we can delete the wall setting and we can add it here uh, there is a device output log res result browser message and log we can open marketplace and put the bridge from here we can load our lab layout there is two layout in default we can edit the layout by the way we can enable the full screen or we just can press f11 it will give us full screen uh, there is layout we can go to the classic layout which is very currently using also you can go with uh, the default editor which is this this is our default now i prefer this now in tools you can create any c plus plus code like character pawn actor actor component whoever uh, who knows about uh, c plus plus they can use it there is a cash statistic project settings resource user debug profile audit there is a build there is a build function you can build our lighting build our reflection and build many more things there is a select option we can select everything in the level we can unselect it we can focus or we can just press f it will focus then there that's a keyboard shortcut uh, there is uh, if we don't select anything we don't see any object if you select any object and go to the actor we will see many options like browse to asset edit we can go open it open our object like that edit visibility transform snap in pivot group attached to add event there is many more option now i duplicate to function and go to actor and convert actor to static mesh now we can make it static mesh uh, just uh, i give a name now see the both are uh, now a single static mesh we can turn off the visibility we can hide it and we can show show all of it control h it will show all unhide actors there is visibility now in help we can get every help a label editor document viewport controls document home c++ api reference control variables online learning forum qa support report and bug issue tracking about unreal credit and unreal engine official website so this is uh, this is the level editor website level editor in unreal engine you can see there is uh, they show everything here like tab bar menu bar toolbar bottom toolbar uh, they give number and explain everything uh, you can go to the website and you can show it as your own viewport content outliner and there is everything so uh, this is uh, for today's tutorial uh, see you in next tutorial